Hi everyone, I thought I'd bring you a little bit of a different type of video. Um, <clears throat> since moving into this house, we are on quite a south facing. So Alfie's bedroom, by the time it's night time, and especially with these lighter nights, his bedroom is really light. When the sun starts to set, it kind of just illuminates his bedroom even more than it is now what I'm going to show you. We decided, um, we couldn't find out blackout curtains that we liked in his style. Plus I also find those sometimes still let the light in. So I came up with an idea. And me and you, we're going to see if it works. So let's go. Um, what I did was I went to my local... Oh, hold on. First of all, let me show you his bedroom. So, it's just... It gets even lighter than this, would you believe? That... <sighs> It's just impossible to get him to sleep at the time he would do before. So, I went to my local um, haberdashery shop, so like material shop, and I bought, we measured the window, well Dean measured it, and we went and looked at blackout material. Now I thought about lining the curtains he had, but again I thought well light gets in through the sides and up at the top, so I was like what can I do? So we measured the inside of his window and we've come up with an idea. Whether it's going to work, I'm not quite sure. Because when we got there, the widest width, which is our drop, uh, the widest width for the material, which would be have to be our drop in it, is six centimetres off. So it's very close. Um, but I'm hoping it still works because we've managed to get the width right. And what we're going to do is, I have bought some compede strips, compan, compan, command, command strips, sorry. Um, so they're just these here, and they have little Velcro. So what they do is they stick to themselves. So people say you can put um, pictures up and stuff like that, and they hold a weight of four pounds. So. There's four in here. What I'm planning to do is, let's just open his curtains. And you can really see how light it gets. <laughs> um, let me try and get this one right across so you can see. What I am planning to do is, in the corners of the window, put a compied strip. Then in the corners of this blackout material, now they did have just plain white, they had one that was like, a, it's called three pass, it did blackout, thermal and like drafts, but we just went with this blackout one. Um, we do have cats, so instead of going for just a plain white one, we went with black. What I plan to do is, because I've got a machine that can do it, these stars that are on his wall, I can get them in a material that I can then hopefully heat press to this so that it will have may even put his name on it but it will be totally removable so in the daytime it just gets pulled off with the velcro and at night time it gets put back on with the velcro this way we are hoping that we plan to black out the whole of the light because it will cover the window right to it um what was i going to say then I've lost what I was saying. Nothing new there, though. Um, I can't think. It's gone right out of my head. Nope, I have. Nope, I have lost it. So yes, <laughs> you're now going to watch me struggle trying to get it up there. But let's go. So let's get these first, and I'm going to stick. Well, I'll show you first. Actually, they stick to each other. They're quite strong. Oh! That reminded me. Doing it this way, you could actually make a travel blind and it fold up really small because it folds just folds the material. All you would have to do is if you was going to a hotel or on holiday or nanny and granddad's, something like that, you just buy another pack of these so that you, because you'll always already have them on the material, you buy another pack so you can get two uses out of them in two places. So, say it was Nanny and Grandad's, you could have these on their window ready and they can stay there. And all you would have to do is bring the blind, stick it back up, and again, so a portable blackout blind. But anyway, let's get going. Right, 
so what I've done is I've stuck all four in the corners of the window I have then gone and stuck one on one side so what I'm going to do is I am going to place this onto the window and then match up where to put them on the other side of the material this might get a little bit tricky but we shall see There we go. The material obviously lets a tiny weeny bit of light in. Alfie doesn't actually have a door in his bedroom because it's being stripped, but if I shut these so we knock out any natural light, and it's dark, it's actually worked. Hold on, let's turn the light on so you can see me. But yes, I have misplaced this one down here slightly, but I am really, really chuffed with it. Let's take it off so you can see how easy it is to take off. So just be careful because obviously you don't want to pull the sticker off the material. So you just want to get your nails in between and you can see it's still stuck and the blinds come down. Let's take this side off. Let's see if you can get you to see. Oh, see I'm pulling the sticky there. Just got to be a little bit careful, <laughs> like that. Sticky's still intact, and the blinds off. This one, pull this pull here. Let's see. Just get your fingers in between, pull them off, and that's it. The blinds off. I am absolutely chuffed with that idea, and I absolutely love the fact. It can go anywhere you do. So, if you're stuck and you can't find a black outline to fit the size of your window, or your window's too small, um, go and buy yourself some material and a compede strips. It is really cheap. I think that costs me a little bit over ten pound to do. So, if you've got a really small window, you're talking a couple of pounds. That's it. In fact, your compede strips may be a little bit more expensive than your material. But I am really chuffed with that. I can't wait for tonight to hopefully he will be asleep when it is because he currently says, but it's light outside, mummy. And I go, yes, but in the summertime, the sunshine likes to stay out longer. But that still means you have to go to bed at bedtime. But it is really not working. So let's hope this does. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, give us a like and a comment as well. Um, there will be more videos like this coming as we get around our house decorating it and finding little bits and pieces that um, could help you as well as help us. So yeah, don't forget to check back soon.